uh, very happy to have on the line with us Mary Kay Henry, the president of SEIU uh, and a fan of Hillary Clinton's. You can tweet her at Mary Kay Henry, uh, all spelled just like it sounds, or at uh, SEIU or at Hillary Clinton. And uh, President Henry, welcome back to the program. It's been a while. Good to be with you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, what are you expecting from tonight's debate? Working families want to hear that um, Trump and Pence uh, prioritize people at the top and that Clinton and Kane value the work we do. I'm going to be joined by one of our Virginia home care leaders who met with then Governor Kane. He was the first person to ever raise wages uh, for home care workers in the state of Virginia. And first so ever? First ever, yes. Wow. So we know there's a clear contrast for working people, and we're paying attention, and we're talking to our families, friends, and neighbors, and we understand what's at stake in this election and that we have to turn out in numbers like never before. Yeah, I, I guess so. What, what do you think are the principal points of vulnerability for Mike Pence or the principal strengths that, that Tim Kaine has other than having raised the wages of health, home health care workers? And, and how has ha Mike Pence handled the issue of home health care workers uh, and workers in general in Indiana. He's been the governor there for quite some time. Well, we think Pence, uh, together with Trump, protect special interests in an economy that's rigged in favor of the wealthy and corporations. And in spite of the progress that President Obama has made, we know that Clinton and Kane are determined to move forward in making sure that we create good jobs in this economy and the Trump-Pence plan has a tax cuts for the rich and more tax increases for the middle class. And so I think in issue after issue, we're going to see an amazing difference between the two sides in this debate and that working people are going to increase the volunteerism like they've been doing inside of SEIU to make sure that everybody understands what Hillary Clinton and Governor Kane or Senator Kane stand for, and that Trump and Pence want to protect corporations and the wealthy in the economy. So, one of the things that we know from just looking back at historical economic data is that when people have a union, they are more likely to have, you know, a, a, a healthy middle class life, to be able to buy a home, buy a car, put their kids through school, have a decent retirement. And unionization in the United States really peaked um, in the in the 1970s, late 1970s, early 1980s, or actually before that, I you know slightly. But the you know Reagan came into office, and the first thing he did was fire Patco and declare war on unions. And and now we're seeing, and so we had about a third of the American workforce unionized. And for every union job, there's in the in the non-union portion of the economy, there's typically another job with identical pay and benefits because the union has established the floor that, that employers need to use to compete for workers. And so we had, you know, roughly two thirds of Americans had decent jobs. Now it's down to, uh, I believe, 11 percent in the total economy, 7 percent in the private economy. Yes, Correct me if I'm wrong. That's right. That's right. So my recollection is, and, and you're the president of a, of a major union, I'd love to get your take on this. My recollection is that over the last 10, 12, 15 years, the thing that many of us have been calling for is card check, is the, is the ability, you know, put into law the ability of anybody to, to, to start a union with minimal amount of effort without having to face, a, you know, a, a billion dollar uh, industry of union busting. And, and put unions back on track. And you know, we haven't gotten that. We haven't gotten close to it. Um, a, do you agree with my diagnosis and, uh, of the problem and, and my proposed solution? And B, how do we get there? <laughs> I do agree with your diagnosis, Tom, of the problem. And your proposed solution that we supported in 06, 07 is one of many things that we think we should be doing to restore workers' ability to have bargaining power in the economy that isn't just for union members, but for all working people. We have to raise wages and create good jobs. And that's another place where the Clinton gain contrast is stark with Trump Pence. You know, Hillary Clinton said yesterday, right to work is wrong. Uh, Governor uh, Pence actually moved right to work in the state of Indiana, weakened workers' ability to raise wages through strong unions. 
uh, both Clinton and Kane have committed to expanding the right of workers to join together. And we see a variety of ways that elected officials have to encourage private sector employers to sit down with workers. We want the next President Hillary Clinton and Vice President Kane to encourage the fast food companies to create a national agreement with the millions of fast food workers that have been in the street fighting for 15 in the union. We think government needs to expand the ability of home care and child care workers who are paid through public dollars and unite those workers with the ones paid by private dollars and make sure those jobs can become a part of the economy once and for all, get covered by Social Security, have Fair Labor Standard Act protections, be able to raise wages. So there's lots of ways. Mm -hmm. that we can do what you suggested, which is to get to back to 30 percent of the workers in this country being able to bargain. And that raises wages for all workers across the economy. Agreed. I mean, well, let's go to where Germany is at what, 60, 70 percent exactly. or Sweden, 80, 90 percent. Exactly. I mean, it's... exactly. That would be terrific. Yeah. And, and it would restore our middle class and it would strengthen our economy and it would be a massive stimulus. And it would only upset those uh, libertarian billionaires who are, <laughs> who are funding well, the... And that's the other thing. I don't know if you agree. I think that what we learned about Trump's taxes over the weekend and when you look at the Trump-Pence proposal for how they would reform taxes, they uh, increase the giveaway to the richest in this country and they intensify the burden on middle class families and that's not the kind of tax system that's going to restore equity in this uh, economy i agree and, and donald trump is uh trying to respond to this uh, uh, tax scandal situation whatever you want to call it um uh, by saying oh look how smart i am i use this system but uh, he, and he's saying i'm the guy who can fix it because i know how badly it's rigged and yet his tax proposals do not contain any mention of this real estate developer loophole uh, you know, right. the, the, the ability to, the, the smoothing, the ability to, to uh, apply real estate losses to other kinds of income, which is only available to real estate developers, and uh, which is pretty surprising. You know, so anyhow, we'll see where this goes. Um, Mary Kay Henry, the president of SEIU and uh, a fan of Hillary Clinton's, uh, uh, Mary Kay, uh, President Henry, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you. It's been great talking Bye. with you.